car engine is on because it's it's very cold and I have just finished walking out. So I'm I'm sitting in my vehicle now. Not really my vehicle, my wife's vehicle, and um, yeah, I'm just trying to warm it up, heat it up before I drive home. But um, I've always wanted to make this video. I've always wanted to talk about my transformation. If you see me look up or look away, I'm, I'm in a kind of, I'm in a forest kind of, so I'm, I'm always very alert when I'm in these kind of places because I'm, you know what I mean. <laughs> So um, I've always wanted to make this video to talk about my transformation, how I went from being a fat, oily guy and um, to being me, to just being me. Um, you know, my story, the whole things started in 2020, 2020, yeah, 2020, the, the, during the Corona, during the Corona crisis and when the whole planet was on lockdown. But I, I, I would love to go back to 1994. 1994. Um, I, I came to Germany in 1994 in my 20s. I came to Germany in my 20s. I think I was 24 or 25. Now I'm in my 40s. Um, yeah. I've always wanted to talk about health. <laughs> but the irony and the funny... Uh, the, the, the funny thing is, let me not say it's an ironic this thing, this situation, no. It's a funny situation because when it comes to health, I always laugh. It always makes me laugh. Because understanding health and the human anatomy, how the human body works, is um, some people think it's a very complicated issue or it's a very complicated topic but no it's like mathematics it's like mathematics a lot of people have problems with mathematics they have problems understanding math how math works but i, I, I used to have the same problems i used to think oh math is a very tough story. this thing is subject math mathematics is very hard you know it's but then, you know, like I said, I think I've said this in a previous video of mine, that my brain, the way my brain works, I have a very big head. If you see, I have an elongated, this thing, head. <laughs> so, an elongated forehead. And I'm not boasting. My brain is very, very sharp. I have a very sharp brain. I'm not boasting. I just I had to, like, throw that in there. But I had to sit down one day and I was like what exactly is mathematics mathematics is nothing other than one and zeros addition subtraction division and multiplication nothing else any other thing added to it is just that an added thing so all these pi thing, thing, thing once you understand that mathematics is nothing other than a one and a zero which is a plus addition minus subtraction the division and multiplication you're good to go you everything every other every math every math see everything calculation solution will become very easy for you that is how health is once you understand health once you understand that a human being is an animal First, you have to understand that, that you are an animal, that you were created by nature to dwell on this planet as an animal. Forget that now you're living in a, a, inside a four space a, a walled up, a, this thing, a, a enclosure. Forget that now you have what you call a house. Forget that now you are able to create things to make your life easy you sit in a car or you like you're putting on clothing no remember once you remember and know and accept that nature created you as an animal once you realize that once upon a time you used to your ancestors used to room room this planet with their dicks hanging out and bouncing up and down that your ancestors used to walk 
this planet with their with their private parts open and hairy and everything once you understand that then you will be able to understand human anatomy you will then know why you are sick you will then know why your parents are sick you will then know why you have some of the problems you have i'm writing a book on my journey my journey from being that ugly unhealthy fat guy that guy people used to say yeah guy you look good because that time i used to be fat oily sit in my expensive vehicle and be like yeah the wall is mine and people will say, damn, Henry, you look good, man. <laughs> so now when people, when those same people see me now, they're like, guy, what's up? Are you sick? And I'm like, no, I used to be sick. Now I'm perfectly okay. I'm very healthy now. So when you understand that, I, I don't really want to say much in this video. Because I'm writing a book on it. When the book is finished, I will, you guys, I will put it, I will create a site, send you guys to the site. You can download it or subscribe, get it, and just read it and see that some of the problems you're going through now is your own doing. Your parents are sick, it's their own doing. But let me just say some things. You know, sometimes you go to the hospital, you have some certain problems, you go to the hospital. By the way, those people at the hospital, they call quote-unquote nurses and doctors. Some of them don't have a clue, one single, zero clue of what they are doing. And I'm not joking. I'm literally saying this. Some of them don't have a clue on what they are doing. I had problems here. I was going to doctors here, in Europe, here in Germany. They had no clue what was wrong with me. But they were ready and were always prescribing drugs. Always prescribing drugs, telling me these drugs, to go take these drugs. But none of them could tell me what actually was wrong, was going on, was wrong with me. Until I discovered Dr. Sebi. I've said that before. Until I discovered Dr. Sebi. And started researching food until I started doing research on food, the things we call food. Because uh, how I came to see to know Dr. Zibi is that uh, I went to, I had gastric, this thing, problem, something in my stomach. They call it reflux. They call it reflux. Reflux is a very simple thing for the problem. Like, you know, when you eat and the food like comes back up into your esophagus and you start having problems, it starts to give you heart burns and all that. So I went to a certain astrology. They call him or something. He calls himself. <coughs> when I go to his office, he gave me a list of things I shouldn't eat. That these things causes this reflux thing, this reflux reaction. And when I got home, like I said, my brain, the, the way I reason, I've always tell people, I've, I've always, I always say this to people, common sense is not taught at schools. Common sense, they don't teach you in your school. No, common sense is not taught in schools and all at schools. Common sense, you have to really start making use of your common sense of the brain that is in your skull. Because... That's why I will go back to the doctor, that doctor and the listening. You have to start making use of the brain in your skull. Because the only weapon we have, if you look at us, we are the weakest creatures on this planet. But we have one weapon that no other creature on this, uh, on this planet possesses. And that weapon is our brain. So when you start... If you know not win, you have to really start to make use of your brain. That thing that your brain is what we sometimes misinterpret and call it common sense. You have to start making use of that your so called common sense because that's your weapon and it's a very powerful weapon. Because if you look at us, like I said, we don't have fangs. In our mouth that if you bite another animal you will poison that animal and that animal will die like a snake will do 
You don't have long claws like the lion that you grab an animal, tear that thing into pieces and ah. No, we don't have those things. We don't have a tail that can sting another creature and poison that creature. No, the only thing we have is our, our legs, which is our wheels or which are our wheels and then our brain. Because you see something, you see danger, your brain will like, boom, kicks in and kickstart your wheels. Your wheels will be like a car. Boom, 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 boom. What do you do next? You take off. <laughs> I don't know if you're following me. So you really have to start using your brain, your common sense. So I took this list from the doctor. I looked at the list. He gave me a list of things I shouldn't eat because this thing they causes this reflux reaction. So I was looking at the list and I saw things like tomato and all that. I was like, why are these things causing problems in my body? These things are supposed to be my food. I asked myself this. Why are these things causing problems in my body when these same things were supposed to be my food? That was how I started researching food. That was how I started looking at food with some other kind of eye, you know. Now that now that time, now I begin to look at food another way. Now that time, now I be, he even wrote that I shouldn't drink milk. <laughs> and I was like, that was when I started asking myself, I shouldn't drink milk. And it just clicked like, boom. Why would they drink milk at all? <laughs> why are we drinking kayak? Why, why why are we drinking cow milk so to cut the whole story short anyway I'm, I, I'm i'm writing a book on the whole thing the whole thing healing healing and all these things because i healed myself i had problems i had everything that my blood pressure was like always 140 over i was able to detox myself I detox myself, I did, I fasted, I did. See, I have to talk about so many things because that fasting you go to your church and your pastor, your man of God will tell you to fast for a miracle. It's got nothing to do with religion. It's got nothing to do with miracles and all that bullshit, bull crap. It's an African spiritual thing. It's a health it's a health spirit you know it's a health thing it's got something to do with health our ancestors were using that to heal themselves spiritually got nothing to do with miracle you fast and jesus will give you fuck that's some bull crap see eh? i will like when i'm done writing the book i will make a video and i will explain things to you guys i will explain things i will really take time and explain things maybe i will do like a live session explain things to you guys explain why you shouldn't do because you, you go to the hospital you have a problem you go to the hospital sometimes they will tell you your problem is genetics your problem is genetics what does that mean it means your problems so something was passed on to you by your parents that's what that means, right? Sorry, sometimes I I look into the screen instead of looking into the camera. Eh? It's weird. Eh? So, what does it mean when they say your problems fit the genetics, Abby? It means, say, your parents been transferred something give you, Abby. Or it means, say, you inherited some, some defect from your parents. Yeah? Okay. Check this out. Trace your parents' lifestyle. Trace your parents' lifestyle. <laughs> if your parents are still alive, look at their lifestyle. What are they eating? How is your father living? Is your father um, drinking alcohol, drinking palm wine, eating bush meat, and e eating pepe soup, and just eating all those? You know, food plays a very big role in your life. So, if your gene, if your cells is if your parents don't they eat rubbish, your parents have been eating things, eating bad things, things that damages their body, their cells, and they now pass that those defect, those damaged cells to you. 
they, they will definitely pass the damaged cells, the defect cells to you. That is why you have things, some things they will say is gene defect. But you yourself, if you've not gotten your own children yet, you can break that circle. You can correct that mistake. You can correct those mistakes. You can break the circle by cleaning up those cells. Clean your body up, detox your body up, so that by the time you start or you're ready to have your children, you will give them good sperm. You will give your wife a good sperm, a healthy sperm, and your wife will produce healthy children. If you've gotten children already, start teaching your children how to eat healthy. Clean your children up so that they can pass that they can produce a healthy, a next healthy generation. If waiting I just talk so makes sense. <laughs> so I, I will really make a video and I will talk about this. I will explain. But in the meantime, in the meanwhile, if you have a question, if somebody you know is sick, diabetics, high blood, anything, if you have anybody who is sick, Go in my this thing section. There is my email is there. Send me an email. Send me an email and I will talk with you. I will write you back. And I'm I will guide you on how to reverse the things that is afflicting your loved one. Be it diabetics, be it high blood pressure, be it whatsoever. But first you have to come to terms with the fact that you were created and placed on this planet to live. No, on this planet as an animal. A N I M A L. Animal. You have to understand that first. Because if you don't understand that, you won't do nothing. You will still think you are this, you are this. You are not supposed to take something and process it, put it in a tin and turn it into something else and start eating it. No. You are not supposed to take something from its natural state turn it into something else and eat it no you were supposed to take that thing how that thing is how that thing came out of the ground and eat it like that you were not even supposed to cook that thing you were not even supposed to no this is deep i will really make a video and talk about it please if you have a problem and, um, and let me just give you guys a little like advice please stop eating cow skin Stop eating cow skin. That thing you cook, but more you cook it and it looks very delicious and all that. Stop eating those kind of things. Write me an email. Comment. If you have an issue, if you can write me an email, just comment and I will just say something. I'm writing a book on it. I don't want to say it's too much. I don't want to like, you know, expose everything on YouTube before I even finish writing the book. But I will, once I finish, I'm done writing the book, you will see, I will detail it in very simple, plain English. You know, very simple English. I don't go make a scientific at all. I go make a sute, I go there, I go put in pigeon, to, you know, where you feed rhythm because me and not my people first. So please share this video, like this video, subscribe to Crack House Entertainment, and I will see you in my next video. Till then. Try as much as possible, stay healthy. The year is coming to an end, 2022. Don't be in a hurry to do anything. Always remember, every year has uh, its own Christmas. Every year has its own end of the year. If you can't do something, anything this end of the year, plan for next end of the next year's ending. Don't be in a hurry to do anything. Every day, make every day Christmas for yourself. I'm Henry. And I'm...